welcome to the channel for the first time viewers welcome back from my existing subscribers um, this is just a follow-up video for some of the folks that had questions about how core isolation works and what it is so uh, i have a full video for you to watch uh, from ancient gameplays he goes over it and i'll kind of start there but as you can see here core isolation off on his 12 600k it's older video now um, 133 fps and core isolation on was 121 FPS. So that was the biggest difference at 1080p. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because when I released everything I did to get 200 FPS in Bondell for the 13900K, I had a lot of questions about, okay, how do, you know, how do I, what is core isolation? How do I turn it on? How do I turn it off, right? And so what it is, is a feature that I'm gonna link this Microsoft uh, support document um, directly in the description, it kind of explains what core isolation is. And what it does is it essentially takes your Windows OS and the processes that Windows is running and kind of separates them um, so that you, if you get attacked by malware, it's not having more access uh, to your PC. That's a super, super simple way uh, to kind of go into it. It's a Windows, I believe it's on Windows 10, but I know it's for a fact on Windows 11. And I'm going to show you how to turn it off because when I turned it off, I was able to go from, you know, areas where I was struggling to hit 200. Now, granted, this is before the season four reloaded patch broke the game and then they patched it again and kind of fixed the game. Uh, I was trying to get, you know, just better FPS, better performance. And one of the I think one of the settings actually had turned it back on. So there's a couple things you could do. You can go to your just your settings You can just hit settings here. And when you go to your to privacy and security, so in the left rail, you see privacy and security, window security, and this will open up all of your different options. You could also click your open window security to get a dedicated tab here. And it should be under your processor in the left rail, maybe device security, let's see. Yeah, so device secu uh, security. And for me, I have a little yellow sign showing me that core isolation is currently off, right? So memory integrity is off, your device may be vulnerable. So you would click in here, and then this is where you can actually go through and turn it off. Right now, um, it's probably on if you're watching this video. And for CPU intensive cases, this is where you can get a little bit more performance. You just gotta be a little bit more mindful what you click. This is pretty much a gaming and editing PC. So there's really nothing crazy going on on here. It's not like I'm doing banking on it or anything like that. So um, with that, that's a quick run through of how to turn on or off your core isolation. It does require that you um, restart your PC. So you gotta restart it after you, after you set it. So if you, let me see if I can find it. Core isolation. Yeah, there it is. So if you go into your Windows search, you can also type in core isolation. And that's probably even faster. It gets you straight there. So it went right into the memory integrity. I left this on. Um, it blocks drivers with security vulnerabilities from running on your device. You know, I'm not trying to be out here in a while, but yeah. Hopefully this helps. And now you know how uh, to turn off core isolation. If it doesn't help you as far as performance, then flip it back on. It is what it is. Uh, but for me, it definitely did help and it gave me about 20 more frames um, when it comes to Warzone. So that's all. I wanted to uh, kind of make this video. I kind of parking lot it for a little bit, and I'll catch you on the flip. Be easy.